Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. In this video, I would explain how to set up SFTP server in CentOS Linux. SFTP is a protocol which allows us to transfer files from one machine to another machine securely. So we have two machines here, one is a server machine and another is a client machine. So server is a machine in which we will store our files and client is a machine from which we will upload our files to the server and also we can download files from server to client. To set up this SFTP server, we have to satisfy some of the requirements. First of all, we have to select a particular port in the server and we have to open it in the firewall. So this port will be used specifically for SFTP. We have to create some data directories where we will store our file and we have to allow permissions to the directory only for specific users or groups. So for that we need to create separate users for SFTP, separate groups and we have to assign the users to particular group. So once users and groups are created and users are assigned to particular groups, so we have to allow permission to those groups so that the users from those groups only can upload data to the server directories. And one more uh, requirement is we should not allow SSH session to the users. The only SFTP session should be allowed and we should not allow SSH session from client to the server. So in this video, I would set up an SFTP server satisfying these requirements and also we will test the connection from client to the server. So let us start. So here we have two machines, one is server machine and this client machine. So for the server I have chosen CentOS machine. So let me verify the version of this operating system. The version is EL7. So we can use the same commands whatever I use in this session for EL8 as well. So to create an SFTP server, first of all we have to install OpenSSH server package. Let me install that. So now the package is getting downloaded and installed. So now the server is installed. Once OpenSSH server package is installed, we need to configure SFTP. Before configuring SFTP, let us create the directories, users and groups and also the permissions. So this directory will hold all the users as well as stores the data of SFTP. Let us create a new group called SFTP users. Create a new user and add the user to the corresponding group and also store the user inside this directory. And we should not allow SSH session for this user. So we should have the shell is has been no login. And the group should be SFTP users. The name of the user is SFTP user. So the group name is wrong. So this should be SFTP. So let us add a password for this user. So now we have created the user group as well as the directory. So one of the important things in setting up SFTP is the permissions. So we have to create those directories with proper permissions, otherwise we'll get the permission issues. So let us go inside where SFTP. And this data directory should be owned by root. So let me change the ownership. And the permission should be 700. Only root will access this directory, no one else will access this directory. So let us go inside data. So this is where our users are stored. So that's why we should give the ownership to root as well as the group SFTP users. So change the ownership. Root and SFTP users to SFTP user 1. Since the group also has access, so we should change the chmod 750 SFTP user 1. So, so this file will allow these SFTP users to go inside this directory. So let us go inside SFTP users 1. So let us create a new directory 
in which we will upload our file. Here, the SFTP user one should have write permissions in this directory to store files. So ch1, the one should be SFTP user one. Group should be SFTP users. Let me give uh, recursive permissions. And also change the ownership to 700. So here 7 means user will be SFTP user 1. So if you want to only provide read access, then we should give like 5000. So let us configure SFTP now. ED etc ssh here we should open sshd config file here we can change the port so i am changing the port to two two here we are enabling only password authentication we have already shown how to do public key authentication uh, while setting up ssh server so if you want to set up public key authentication, please go through that video which is described in the description section. So here I will enable only password authentication. And now we have to set up some settings for our group SFTP. We have to write match group. Our group is SFTP. So for this group, this will be the home directory. So, so let me put percentage H. And for these groups, actually, it will execute the internal SFTP command. Command, and also we can have some other settings like uh, allow TCP forwarding no. So this will not allow TCP sessions to be forwarded to other machines from this SFTP server. So, so these are the minimal configurations required for this SFTP configuration. Let me save this and exit. So we have changed the sshd config file. Let us restart sshd mod. The sshd service is failing. So let us verify the general CTL output. And it is showing uh, error bind to port 2222 on this one. So generally, uh, in CentOS 7 machine, uh, SC Linux will be enabled by default, and we we need to tell SC Linux to allow the access on this port 2222. For that, we need to execute one SC manage command. So this is the command uh, we have to execute to allow the connections for port 2222. So now this port is configured in SC Linux. So let us restart SSHD again. So now SSHD is properly restarted. Let us verify the status also. So now this server is listening on port 2222. We have done all the configurations uh, in the server. So now let us go to the client machine and let us verify the SFTP connection for this service. So this is the client machine. Uh, so let us try to connect to the server using SFTP. So SFTP on port we have to provide here. This should be iPhone O. Port is equal to two 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 two. And also we should provide the username SFTP user one. The red server name is. Uh, let us get the server IP address. So this is the server IP address. So let us try to connect. So we have to say S yes and so that uh, the key will be stored in list of known hosts. So we have to provide the password. So now we are able to connect to the SFTP server successfully. So what is this directory we can check? And this is the remote directory and it should have upload. So this, this is having upload directory. And also we can we can put the files inside this so <clears throat> let me create a, a local file again login so here i have one test file so this is the test file and it is containing hello so let us upload this test file inside the upload directory so let us reconnect to the sftp server so 
I will put inside ED upload and put just by. So here we are getting some permission issue to upload this file. So let us verify in the server whether we have given proper permissions or not. So go to the server. So this is the SFTP user one directory. So it seems the upload directory is not having. Let us verify the CH1. By, by mistake, I have given uh, ch1 instead of ch mod. So let me review the permissions uh, for this upload directory. Okay. And also, ch mod 700. So these are the proper permissions for this directory. So let me retry the upload. Yeah. So now I am able to successfully uh, upload the test file inside the upload directly in the server and also verify here yeah so the test file is uploaded so this is all about how to set up an sftp server in centos like the video please like and share with your friends and also subscribe to this channel for more videos on devops